I'm really anxious, anxious now. I have sweaty palms and mom's spaghetti. There's more. It's down here. What is? Come with me and you'll see there's a world of walls and pure imagination. Hello. Now, we know he likes to steal. Both of them love to steal, although he steals by buying them at auction. But he, Edison, actually steals, steals. So, uh, yeah. <gasps> I, yeah. My God. <laughs> My God. Yeah, so he's, like, loving the Tesla coil. Watch this. Schematics for a flying machine. What's that? It's a machine that can fly. <laughs> That's not possible. Uh, uh, well, hold on to your hat because this one is designed to leave our planet entirely. Whoa, hmm. that's a rocket! A carriage that can be propelled up into the heavens. Sweet. How do you know any of these work? I am my father's son. He would have been very proud of you. What? Sorry, what? But your father's alive. He's the railroad dude. He's disgraced you, hasn't he? Or he hates him. Or is that him going, I feel like I'm a failure? Hmm. Hmm. That's a weird, weird Edison. Also, do you know his dad? Like, that just seemed a bit off, but. Maybe I'm reading into that too much. Oops. Also, I'm sorry. I fucked up. That's teleport. That's pause. I mix them up so much. So you're going to turn this? that on? It's a Tesla coil, you fool. Careful. Look. Don't want any other deaths. Uh. Why would Funny. you say that? Say what? Other deaths. Why are those exact words? What? Oh, oh god, dude, don't do it, dude. Oh no, it is. Oh no, Edison, it is mistaken identity. Oh, Edison, you actual fucking bell end. No. Oh. Loud enough. Yep. It's not spawned in, but that's fine. No one with a life as perfect as yours would want to kill themselves. Uh, no. Shut the fuck up. Depression comes to everyone. Twat. Oh! Uh. Edison! Not only a thief, but a murderer! Oh! Uh. Edison! Not only a thief, but a murderer. What'd you do that for? I see what you're doing. Oh, shit. You didn't bring me down here to show me all this. You brought me down here to finish what you started. Dude. You're the one who tried to kill me. I brought you down here to see if you could open the lock on that door. Okay, it's not open yet, then. Unlocked door in a secret room. Well done, mate. Well fucking done. You're the one who tried to poison me. You're the one who burnt that document. That's how you know what other death means. Sorry, what? So you know that piece of paper that was burnt? Hmm. Okay, Edison. Okay, that sounds like... Yeah, again, it sounds like Edison knows a lot more than... We know about other deaths. Him freaking out. You oh, wait, hang on. Did it say other deaths on the paper? And then he said other deaths, and it's an unfortunate coincidence. Again. Fuck, it might be that, actually. I might be wrong. Oh, dear. You're right, way. buddy. You're not alright. You're dying. So you could take you? all this for the Vanderbergs. Oh, dude. I'm sorry. 
Oh, he's going to steal your watch and everything. But this is my genius now. Oh, dear. Oh, again? Fucking hell, Edison. Hmm. Oh, yeah, take the watch whilst you're at it. Oh, this guy. Why not, why not? Could be Edison. It could be Edison. Oh, God. Shit. Well, we better get into position for when Flora comes in. Let's go for over here, actually. Oh, shit. She's literally there. She doesn't see him initially. That's why, because he's there. <laughs> there comes the scream. Good scream, Flora's lady. Is anybody here? Hello? Oh, that's why she's walking around. Because she doesn't know where the killer's gone. Which is a totally fair thing to do. Pick the gun up. No? No? The gun that's been on the if floor? If somebody's down here, you better come out now. <laughs> oh, there we go. Here they come. They have the fucking cavalry, although they're going to blame... Oh, my God, if Edison blames her. Oh. Let's fast forward a little bit. All right, camera, just calm down, controls. You come in? I don't want to rush you. I don't want to fast forward and miss anything either. No. Don't make me come and find you. I will. Hello? You guys coming? There they are. There he fucking is. What happened? Flora. I just fucking... I found him like this. It wasn't me. Oh, Flora. Poor Flora. He's dead. Don't... It's a waste of time. He's dead. I suppose he got what he wanted. We all know who it was. You! It was this godforsaken animal. <gasps> Put that finger away before I snap it off. Spoken like a true innocent man. <laughs> where and where were you? I was with Mr. Swan. No, you weren't. He was with me. What? Who would want to kill this bobo? Sorry, hang on, what? Mm-hmm. Actually, they do both come in from the same place, although he's wet. We know he goes outside, so maybe he goes outside and it's like, you're going to fucking cover with me. We'll find out in a minute. We will track him after this murder, see if he meets up with him. We'll then track him and we'll go through systematically until we uncover everything in Chapter 3. Anyone giving you an alibi? I was with her. Yeah. Tell him. I, uh... Tell him. She doesn't seem very keen, does she? It, uh... Uh, it, it could have oh. been Mr. White. Don't you dare. I say uh. we tie up this animal until the police arrive and take him back to his cage for... The police aren't coming. Uh. 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 That's enough. <laughs> Mr. Edison, I need to mark the time of death. Uh. Oh, no, uh. not again. Don't ask Edison. It's 11.35. I mean, it is. I'll give you that. No. Oh, no, he's using Mozart's watch. Also, I hear a noise. I hear a noise from a cat. Oh, or not. Hello? I heard you. I don't know where you've gone. Why are you wet? Yeah. Uh, uh. I, uh... I, I, when I had 
Mr. White scream. I, I thought it was coming from outside, so I went to make sure. Liar, also, if you were with Edison, Edison would be wet too, unless you were meeting in like a conservatory sort of midway area when you were coming back in. Mm. You're blind, not deaf. Her scream clearly came from under the house. Sir, if you had suggested that I had anything to do with... Now oh. hear this! Oh, God. All of you. I sat quietly and listened to your lies. And one of you took that to mean I was a fool. And in your arrogance, you took another life. This young boy's life! Oh, God. But I promise you, this will not go unpunished. Okay. This will not go unpunished! Oh my good god. All right, dude. Okay, so uh, just as a reminder as well, he's not supposed to drink. He says that in the letter, like it's it's a big no-no. Not sure if alcoholic or just a violent drunk. Oh, shit. What, uh, oh, okay. And that's the end of chapter three. That feels so short because it's a murder. So there's like a bigger a bigger event that draws all the attention and all the time and everyone into the same place god uh so hang on we don't need to do chapter four just yet let's quickly let's fill out chapter three so gustav currently we're missing quite a lot of gustav here um whilst they're doing their seance flora we only have a tiny bit of time where flora vanishes and i'm pretty sure that that is um because that's the seance and then she gets scared off and if you remember i then at that point went to the window because i saw swan fucking about out here so i want to know what you've been doing i think he's been there's like a this this is like a little factory power plant thing i think he might have gone over there but i'm not sure also it begs the question how did he get out the house because he was walking that way, I think. And that's boarded up. He could have been walking back that way to get back in the house. Or there might be an entrance way there. I'm not sure. Anyway, not sure. Oh, shit. Hello, I didn't mean to do that. Oh, God, I'm so sorry. Uh, come out of that again. Sorry. Uh, Vandenberg. Well, <laughs> sorry, Vandenberg, but we've mapped you. You are buggered. Edison, there's a little bit of time missing. This is a very vital bit of time because it will tell us if he's tied up with Swan. Uh, Bernhardt is pretty much done. There's literally just a little bit here. There. But I think that's because we didn't watch. Yeah, no, it is. This bit, this tiny little bit here that Flora, no, not that Flora has, that Swan has here is when they're all going down the stairs because I was watching Flora. So we know they're all together. So this tiny bit here doesn't concern me that much. Uh, bless Tesla. I haven't gone back to check if he's in the lobby the whole time. So <laughs> if, uh, as I said, if it's Saw 1, then I have fucked up here. I'm assuming you are legit dead. I'm taking his word that you're dead. If you're not dead... I hate you, Tesla. Um, so you're good. You're good. You, I need to know what the fuck happened. You're good. You're a big mystery. And you're a big mystery. In fact, you're both a big mystery at the same rough time. So it's this bit I'm looking for, for this, these two. And then you, I'm looking for this. So let's start with this. Let's start by putting ourselves here and see what he does with that short period of time with Edison after he's done the murder and then we'll check the other two. Oh my I thought I I, I hoped as the whole as it is <laughs> I hoped we'd get another murder but at the same time oh dear <laughs> right Edison waste not, not. so he wastes not swans not and then he fucks off this way And then he goes, so he goes up the stand. He doesn't bother to shut it. 
Oh, fucking hell, why are you <laughs> walking like a weirdo? Oh, there's the scream. There's the scream. There, there he is. They're not together. At no point are they together. Look. <gasps> oh my god. He climbed in through a fucking window. Oh, look. Well, this is slightly awkward for Swan. Hello? What are you doing? Uh, uh, I don't know. Oh, shit. Laura? Okay, okay, I get it. So, do you remember I said it was like a semi-blackmail thing? It's a semi-blackmail thing. It's a, I just caught you going in through the window. You're definitely not blind. You're going to agree with me on the fly. So, that answers where he went. What I now want to know is where you went for uh, literally this entire time. So we're going to rewind and see what happens. <laughs> I love that point at which he realises he's being... Oh my god. He's being watched and then he's like, oh shit. So he went out the front door, I think. Oh, uh, oh fuck. What the hell happened there? Buddy? <gasps> That's what the flickering lights was. It wasn't a seance at all. So where's he going now? Oh, hang on. Hang, hang on a minute. Hang on a minute. This is still the start of chapter three. We're missing these two anyway. So did they have an in-depth discussion? I may as well just quickly first uh, rewind as much as I can since they're having an in-depth chat. Let me just turn around. Uh... Okay, so I just want to see if he does anything further. I think he just sort of pootles about. Yes, yes, because this is where chapter the chapter starts. However, I'm just going to quickly pop over here and go... Oh, I can't. I can't. That's fine. So she goes. And you, you're bumbling. There's the pocket watch. Okay, so... Then he goes in here. How may I help you, sir? Oh, hello. Oh, you're there. Sorry. Mr. Hi. Swan, did you let each of the guests in personally? Yes, sir. All. Oh, we've not actually interviewed him yet. So this is what that is. This is the interview. Okay. Oh, Mr. White, she came with you. Mm. Right. And when you opened the door, could somebody else have snuck in behind them? Maybe somebody we don't know about? No, because he isn't blind. I... I... Uh, I, I don't know, sir. Forgive mm -hmm. me, Mr. Swan, but why would Tesla pay to have a blind assistant? He doesn't. To keep his secret safe from Brian eyes. And he uh. did not pay me. I work for free. It's what the government says I must do to stay here in America. Oh, nice. That's Sarcasm. slavery, what you're yes. describing. Yes, it is. No. I was a slave in Zanzibar. Here. I am an indentured servant. Still quite dodgy, though. Like, Song of the South kind of territory, you know? Indentured slavery servitude. Oops, hitting my own fucking mic. I don't trust any of that. I think you, I think you've had a shit life. And okay, this is nicer for you, but I don't know whether you would. I think personally, maybe you jump at the chance to change it, uh, possibly by making shortcuts. I'm not sure. Right. <laughs> but if people think I killed Mr. Tesla, I will be sent back. I cannot go back. Oh, that's true. Mr. Swan, I wouldn't worry. Blind men don't usually get blamed for murder. He's not blind. But that would explain if he wanted to cover it up. That would explain why, because he doesn't want to get sent back. But what will happen to him now? Will he get sent back anyway? Due to the fact that his, his master's dead. 
So is this a win-win? Is it a, sorry a lose-lose scenario for him, or is there something that he could have gotten out of doing this? I don't know. Unless he was going to run off with everything. Thank you. Please. Please. Excuse me. Kay. I must turn down the guest rooms. Of course. Okay. Enjoy turning down the guest rooms. You filthy fucking liar. So he goes. He runs. Like, literally legs it. Oh my good god. He goes out the door. Careful though, dude, because, you know, I saw you through the window, which... <laughs> idiot. Uh, he's literally legging it, isn't he? Now, I don't know if this is something Tesla asked him to do, or he has to do every day, or, or what the fuck. But this looks like a generator and, and so forth. Bloody hell. Um, oh my god. Okay, so that was a power surge, which... Yep, there we go. Flora's done a runner, so that would explain that. That would explain the, the, the unfortunate timing. Oh, hello, I forgot about the rain. Um, the unfortunate timing of the power surge that she thought was a ghost talking to her in the seance. But actually, it was just him. But why he did that, I don't know. I only the the detective. Oh, and he's going, and he runs. Oh, shit, oh, and then he fell over. Oh, shit, and you've left your footprints in the ground, you silly fuck. And that's partly why he's wet. And then he goes up there to go through the door, discovers a load of, oh, and it's shut. Oh, you can't get back in. It's locked from the uh, inside. Oh dear. Oh my god, hang on a minute, hang on a minute, hang on a minute, hang on a minute. So you go back in, but what are you doing? Where's the, where's the sheet gone? What's this? What's this locket here? Can I have it? No. Hang on, let me just see if I can... What are you up to? Oh, hello. So he locks the door. Oh, I see what happens. Oh shit, the door's open. The Ah, oh, the blanket blows off because he doesn't shut the door properly. Alone. Got it. So there goes the door. In a minute. Also... So he goes, he doesn't shut it properly. Dear old uh, doodad, Gustav, sees it. I'm trying to get the fucking locket, but I may as well just wait. So that then opens once the storm gets a bit more intense. Oh my god, my nose is so itchy. There we go. Oh, oh, it's a ghost. Oh, there it goes. Into the future. Bye. Hello? No, someone's going out, mate. Don't worry about it. There we go. There's the surge that they thought was something else. Hello? Woo! I want to pick this locket up. I'm going to have to wait, aren't I? Also, I probably shouldn't be, like, standing where he's going to stand because it's, oh, it's only going to go wrong. All right, buddy. Do you reckon you could pick that locket up for me? Can't do anything with the key. Come on, get on with it. That. I want that. I want that. Give me it. Give me it. Oh, shit. Give me. Give me the fucking locket. I don't think I can. I don't think I can get it. Hang on. No, I can. Flora's locket. Flora's locket? What? Hang on, sorry, what? My 
Flora's locket. What? But Flora's wearing her locket. Isn't she? Is there more than one? Oh, hang on. Flora, hang on. Let me see if Flora, oh shit. Hang on, hang on. I have to go. Flora? Oh, hang on a minute. This is, oh. Oh no, this is this is downstairs. It's fine. It's alright. I was overthinking it. I was like, what the fuck? Uh, today my assistant Flora finally received news as her husband. Oh dear. I know I expect to cover her, but my mind is consumed with completing the spirit radio. I do not know what it will do when I switch it on, but I found it tonight. If I go mad, I sit all night listening to the spirit radio. There's nothing but static. What was I expecting to find? I am a fool. Rip. So Flora's locket is a copy. So the question is, the question is, why was there one out there that she said was hers that he picked up that fall on the floor? So we assume that's hers. She hasn't gone. It's not hers. She's using it. She's you know clasping it when she's stressed and so forth. But then why is there another one here? Why was it in Tesla's hand? And is it exactly the same? That's the big question. You know, um, oh God. If this contraption really works, then um, where are you going? Shouldn't we call this that? Actually, to be fair, I suppose if he's just discovered Flora's necklace, he probably thinks she's come back. I'm, I'm waiting to see. There's got to be a scream any minute now, right? You're not going to get that far upstairs. If your killer is in this house, is. Speak his name. Oh no, Flora's in there. Is name. Oh no. No, she's gone by now, isn't she? So she's got to scream. And then he... Really <coughs> there it is. Okay, so he's accounted for. Excellent. Hello, everybody. It came from in Flora. There. Right, hang on. So literally, we've got one last thing. One last thing. Actually, I need to go out the front door, otherwise I'm not going to manage it. One last thing, which is to go round here. Hang on. I'll orientate myself. Uh. Oh no, is he here? Or is he in the kitchen? I can't even remember. They both sort of meet up. No, no, no. He's round here, isn't he? Because he goes, like, all the way round. And then... What's that there? Oh, no. It's, it's all right. I thought it was a note because he covered the other side. But it's literally just the, um... Part of the window. Go on, then. I don't want to rewind too far. Hello? Where is he? Here he is. So, yeah, he's trying to get back in, isn't he? So he shuffles along here. But surely that means someone else could have come in and out at any time. Oh, fucking hell. That's a bit extreme. Bloody hell, swan. So, yeah, he just does this. Then he opens this, which has been open all along. And then he catches him, and it's a bit awkward. And then we all go, and we discover that... Surprise! Vandenberg's dead. Rip, everybody. Uh, and I think that's it, actually, isn't it? So, if I go back to here... If I go back to here... We should have... Gustav cleared. Flora cleared. Swan cleared. Again, I'm not too worried about a tiny gap here. That's literally her. That's when I've not physically watched her go into a room, but I know she's there. He's, well, sorry, Vanderberg. I'm sorry I said it was you. Maybe it is you still. Just because, just because you didn't try and kill Edison doesn't mean you didn't try and kill Tesla. This motherfucker, uh, Bernhardt, uh, Monday. Yeah, so that's where we're at at the end of chapter three, guys. Now you have that information. Who do you think has done it now? Has your opinion changed? If so, who did you think it was? 
And who do you think it is now? I. It could be as straightforward as te uh, Tes Tesla, I was going to say. It could be as straightforward as Edison. I just don't know. I really don't. Like, he's almost too shit. But then again, it's not necessarily a complicated crime. It was just done and someone fucked off. So, and then where does the locket fit in? In fact, can I, uh, hang on. Can I view the locket? Yes. There it is. So, that's supposed to be Flora's husband, right? If this is, if this is Flora's necklace. But then by that logic, why is there another one? You know? And then also, the fact we have two clocks just makes me think, are we getting some sort of weird time fuckery? I just don't know. Uh, but let me know all your thoughts in the comments, guys. Thank you again for watching. Please do give it a like if you enjoyed it. And I will see you next time where we do chapter four. And hopefully we find out who the fuck done it. Thank you for watching. Bye.